Hello everyone, and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. So, we're uh, making ourselves a new blood orb today. So that we can make our runes of sacrifice. So all we have to do is put this emerald in there, and it should soak this stuff up pretty quickly. And I don't remember, do we get a reward for doing this? No, we don't get one until we uh, upgrade to Master Blood Orb. That's okay. So far, so good. Uh, I realized that this place was, like, absurdly loud last time, so I've taken the liberty of installing a sound muffler into the setup. It's right below the Blood Altar. Go. Let's find it. So it bound it to me, and so on and so forth. Now, of course, that's making everything ex uh, extraordinarily quiet. But anyway, uh, let's go back to runes. And actually, we have one on us. So now we need four stone per one, and we're gonna make three more because we already have one. So what I need to do is I need to make, what is that, 12 stone. I have 6 on me, so that's not gonna, so that's not gonna fly. So. 12 stone. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. Then I'm gonna need 2 stone each, so that's gonna be 6 stone. Or, uh, 6 gold. 6 Three, two gold each, six gold total. My god, speaking today. There we go. Uh, and then, the next thing I want to do today is I want to make us some speed runes. So in order to do that, we're going to need blood runes, which we have tons of upstairs. Just a ton of them. And then we're also going to need sugar, which, I mean, thanks to the, our setup out here, sugar is not a problem. Look at this. We're full on all our crops, except for the Britannia flowers and feathers, apparently. And raspberries and apples. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Alrighty, but let's uh, let's first make ourselves these guys. So all we have to do is take our blood orb. Boom, 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 boom. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, and there we go. Four runes of sacrifice. So what we do is I go up to our setup upstairs, and I'm also going to need. Let's say I'm going to make eight speed runes, so I'm going to need eight times four is 32. I'm going to need half a stack. So let's pop that in like so, and then let's let that go. I'm also going to need some for the blank slates, I just remembered, so that's going to be another four times two or 8 times 2, so that's going to be another 16. 1, 2, 3. And you can all get going while I do this. There we go. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to swap out these corner pieces. Boop. 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 Now for a tier 2 altar, these slots, the corners have no effect. So this doesn't do anything for us. But once we get to a tier 3 altar, all runes count. So all I have to do is take these guys out, pop these guys in, and we will be a tier 3 altar. With a crazy capacity of 22,641, thanks to these guys and these guys and then we should let's see we're at how much now 4870 
killing one pigman nets us. Uh, what was that? Why are we draining? Uh, I don't know why we're draining, but that happens every so often when you upgrade your altar. It's just going to slowly deplete its reserve for some reason. I've noticed that happen every single time I have done this. Eventually it stops. Uh, it doesn't drain it completely. Oh, I haven't scanned a pig. Hello. Bye-bye. Okay, so what we're going to need to do now, or what I'm going to want to do now, is the speed runes, right? Yeah, it wants us to make ourselves some speed runes. So that's what we're going to do. As well as a rune of acceleration. How do I make that? That's a speed rune with an ethereal slate, which needs a tier 5 altar. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. But we can't get the speed runes done. Let's put some stuff away, shall we? Now, we're not going to need this anymore, so that's nice. Should probably find a way to work this guy in. Uh, we don't need it. No, so yeah, we don't really need it at all, so we're okay. Uh, I don't need you very much anymore. Okay, so now we have this. So, what did I say? I needed 2 times 8. So 16 of those need to go into becoming blank slates. Alrighty, so here we go. Our last blank slate that we need for our speed runes. And... Blammo. Okay, so... Now I'm going to need 8 blood runes. And then, to tell you the truth, the uh, 8 speed runes that we're making are probably going to be all the speed runes we ever need. So... Yeah. So, let's see here. Uh, also, by the way, with the Runes of Sacrifice, I'm getting 700 LP per pigman. Uh, let's... That's not how that works. What was supposed to be on the sides? The sugar, that's right. Forgot about the sugar. I need 16 sugar. So, let's go back over to our arcane workbench. Basically just serving as a crafting table for right now. Now I'm thinking an al another an alternate setup I could be using for this up here is I could put a mob grinder over at our spawn tower right up there. And then that would collect mob essence and mob drops and all that stuff and then I could have an auto spawner up here spawning whatever I want I could spawn skeletons and I could get wither skeletons by the hundreds if I wanted and then uh, yeah uh, the mob essence from the grinder over by the spawn tower would supply the auto spawner and I would be all set up that is totally an option of things I can do. So now we should be back to a tier 3 altar. Yep. And now anything we put in here, like uh, slates and stuff, should, uh, should process a lot quicker. So that is something we have accomplished. Now the next thing I probably want to take care of is we're going to enchant another book. Hopefully get a nice piece of, uh, hopefully get a nice enchantment for a piece of armor. Uh, let's store more of these, these, and 
all of this random stuff. Okay. And there is also some other piece of uh, Thongcraft thing I want to make that should hopefully help things go a lot smoother. But for now, let's try this. Bane of Arthropods, of course. At least it's level 4. If we need, uh, we can make magical wood in this mod, right? We need it for something, don't we? An atlas. Yeah, magical wood. That's used for what again? Golden spikes. The golden bag of holding. We should probably make one of those. Honestly. What's this? An ender core. So there's definitely uses for terrible magic, uh, terrible enchantments. Yeah. So, not a problem. Uh, for now, I have these two extra reinforced slates, and there's probably something I can do with them. Uh, Runes of Sacrifice, Ritual Stones. Ooh, Ritual Stones is probably a good idea at some point. Sigil of the Green Grove is a bit of a moot point at this point. Air Sigils, Void Sigils. Actually, Sigils. Interesting. Don't I have a quest for those? I think I do. A Water Sigil. Give me Water Infused Stone. Interestingly enough. And how exactly do I make a water sigil? Not with a reinforced slate, apparently. So what's it? Sigil of the blood lamp. Would get us a magnum torch? Really? Wow, okay. Wow. Awesome. The Green Grove would get us 16 Beef Wellingtons, but we also need a Magnetism. But let's uh, focus on the other thing I was talking about, which I believe is also a quest. Thaumaturgy. I want... Is it on here? Doesn't... Oh yes, here it is. A deconstruction table is what I would like. And then, so, to get a deconstruction table, decon, I don't, I can't access the recipe because I don't have the research, probably. Where's my Thaumonomicon? Probably upstairs, actually. Actually, it's in my inventory. Okay. So, I believe we'll find that under Artifice. Uh, no. Basic information. It's over here. That's right. So, deconstruction table. Just bought it. What we need is we need a gold pick, we need a gold axe, we need a table, and we need a thermometer. So, a table should not be an issue. Boom, 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 easy peasy. We need a thermometer, which we have, but I don't really want to use up the one that we're using. So we're going to take this, like so. There we go, and then we need a gold pick and a gold axe. So we need six gold. Easy enough. Gold axe, gold pick, and I would like to scan all these things before we use them. I've scanned a gold axe before, but not a gold pick. Interesting. 
Okay, now we need to go to our arcane workbench. Uh, other side, I believe. And then you up top, and that gets us a deconstruction table. And what this little guy allows me to do is he allows me to take anything that I have in excess and break it down into research points. So if we ever end up running into a problem getting research points, I can take something like brains, I can take all these gold swords from the zombie pigmen we have. I apparently have not scanned a gold sword before. Boom. And then I can just run these things through there and I'll break it down into the primal aspects that compose it. So for a gold sword, that would be, let's see, Tellum is Instrumentum and Ignis, so one point of Ignis, Instrumentum is Ordo and Humanus, so a point of Ordo. Humanus is Bestia and Cognitio, Bestia is Victus and Modus, Victus is Terra and Aqua, so one Terra Aqua, and so on and so forth. It has a random chance of producing one of anything. Or nothing. Nothing is also a possibility. Statistically, the most likely possibility. But there you go. I got two uh, two points of air. So now, uh, the n oh, actually, that uh, completes us a quest, right? So let's uh, open that quest up. I'm gonna take the reward back. So I now have eight points of Ignis, which I'm just going to dump into a jar. And then eight points of Tellum, which I'm also just going to dump into a jar. There we go. Cool. Then the remaining files can go in here. And we're going to take this reward bag. And we got a terrible reward, a raw, a raw meat block. Which, you know what, actually isn't too bad. Three Corpus, two Fames, one Jellum, one Terra, and one Bestia. It's not too bad. Stone upgrade. Why is this in here? I was planning to melt you, wasn't I? Why is my thermometer not scanning? Something is wrong. Something is really weird right now. Why are you not scanning? Okay, now you're scanning, but up top you're not- can I not scan your, uh... Sound muffler? Oh yeah, I can't hear the scanning sound. Interesting. Oh, and because of that I can't scan. See, I'm holding... Oh... Sound mufflers are evil! I don't know what is going on with that, but that is a terrible, terrible bug. That is just awful. Wow. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed all that fun stuff. It's the worst. Okay, now I can scan stuff. Yeah, I can't scan it over here. Can I scan you over here? Uh, 
And suddenly I can't scan anything. It's the weirdest thing. I think it might be the stone upgrade that's actually causing the bug somehow. I don't know. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any idea what's going on with my Thalmanomicon, let me know. I'd very much like to find out what the problem is. But uh, yeah, so see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.